A senior commander at Fort Hood, Texas, says the search is still on for four missing soldiers after their truck got swept away in floods during a training exercise. Five of their fellow soldiers died in the incident. Three others are recovering in a hospital and are expected to be okay. Many areas across Texas, though, remain under flood watches and warnings. Uh, our priority has been since the first report of this incident and continues to be the search for our four missing teammates. And while that rem remains our priority, Major General Thompson, the commander of the 1st Cavalry Division, and Command Sergeant Major Jackson, the Command Sergeant Major, and the entire leadership team is focused on making sure we're providing the support and counseling for the families, friends, and soldiers uh, as we work through the notification and grieving process. With still more rain falling in Texas today, Texas Governor Greg Abbott addressed the ongoing flooding problems across the state. I want you, uh, those who have been affected by these floods, to know uh, that Texas is here to help. We are working with, in collaboration, uh, all the county and city officials who are responding swiftly and effectively to do everything they can to protect you, your property, uh, your lives, uh, and to keep things as safe as possible as we weather the storm. The primary message I can convey to you at this time is this, and that is the reality, there will be some ongoing rain for a little while, but there is going to be a an ongoing rise of water in the Brazos River, uh, maybe in the Colorado River, and tributaries that split out from those rivers for a extended period of time. The Brazos River is flooded all the way up to North Texas. It is going to take a while for the Brazos River to drain out. So our urgent request for the citizens of Brazoria County, Fort Bend County and surrounding areas is this. The most important thing you have is your life. Do everything you can to protect your life and the life of others.